Hello, you are watching Red Carpet of Hollywood and I'm your host Marina Kufa. I want to welcome you to the 10th annual Gala of Casa LA. Benefit Reimagine. The Gala is hosted by Topher and Ashley Grace. We're here with Charity Chandler. You are the CEO of Casa LA. That's so amazing. Give me a background about the charity. You guys do this since 10 years now, right? We've actually been doing it since the 1980s. Oh, okay. Yes. And what we do at Casa of Los Angeles is we show up and we advocate for children in LA County's overburdened child welfare and juvenile justice system. Through one-on-one -on -one, um, advocacy and support, we show up in court for children and provide trauma-informed and culturally rec um, responsive <laughs> recommendations to the judge that can ultimately change the trajectory of their lives. Our volunteers are from our community and they show up each and every day in support of um, our most vulnerable and underserved children. The children coming from specific backgrounds, can you give me some details? Our children come from LA County's um, underserved communities. Many of them have experienced neglect as a result of poverty. Some of them have experienced severe abuse um, and severe neglect and you know a lot of trauma and so our volunteers are able to come in really understand the context of their stories and provide um, recommendations to help solve some of the issues um, and problems that they're having but more so making sure that we're um, really showing up in a way that's culturally responsive and understanding what's really happening in their homes and their communities and finding solutions that are restorative and healing in nature great what is your goal for tonight and of course the future our goal tonight will be to raise a million dollars in support of our children. There are over 33,000 children in L.A. County's child welfare system. We've identified 12,000 that are in critical need of the support we provide. We currently only serve 1,300 children, so if we're able to increase our dollars and reach that many more children, you know, we'll be making an even bigger impact on the lives we're already making. So our goal is to raise a million dollars um, and show up for more children. Great. And if somebody wants to donate from outside, not everybody had a chance to be here tonight, uh, maybe you can leave a little info where they can donate. Absolutely. There's so many ways to get involved. You can donate online at casala.org. We're also in critical need of more volunteers. We're actively organizing volunteers that come from the communities our children come from to provide that one-on-one -on -one advocacy. So go to our website at casala.org, donate or sign up to volunteer, and we look forward to your support. Thank you so much. I'll give a shout out to our amazing staff, to Marie Carpenter, who really just done a phenomenal job putting this together. And a shout out to all of our supporters, to our board of directors, and all of the community-based organizations that have been in the trenches day in and day out fighting for our kid kiddos who, are, who have showed up in support of us today because it takes a village to really raise a child. Thank you so much. Good luck tonight. I wish you the million dollars. At least. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. You're watching Red Carpet of Hollywood, and I'm here with... Wayne Wilderson and JP Manu and you choose to support Casa LA today why is that well obviously I mean, I'm not obviously JP's plus one but I <laughs> looked up the organization and I've been involved in other organizations that do a little bit of the same work and um, having worked with some of the youth the underprivileged youth in Los Angeles it's quite rewarding work and I thought I'd come check Casa out See, see how it is. Um, my wife and I have been talking about uh, the foster care system, and uh, I actually have another friend who is a CASA, and so um, it's something I was already interested in and then got invited to this event, and now I'm looking forward to getting more invested in the whole process. So we're going to be cheering today for the million dollars, correct? Yes. <laughs> We're coming very close. I'm sure Wayne will put it over the top. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. I've got some money in my pocket. Yeah, no. there's some of those old Fruit of the Loom oh, yeah. checks, you know, are still coming in. <laughs> yeah. Rest assured, we'll get to a million. We get to, we get to it. Yes. Is this your first time supporting this organization? Mine. Yes. Yeah. I just heard about it recently and thought it was a worthy cause. Had to come check it out. Wonderful. Yeah. My first time involved at a casa event. Wonderful. Well, you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for your time, and uh, I see you on Red Carpet of Hollywood. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. You. All right. okay. You're watching Red Carpet of Hollywood, and I'm here with... Ashley Grace. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for your time, Ashley. Uh, you are a volunteer for Casa LA. Can you give us a background? Yeah, so I joined the board of Casa LA first a few years ago, and then I started hosting the event. And then uh, over the pandemic, I actually became a volunteer myself. And I knew the important work that CASA was doing. It was really important to my heart. But doing it myself, um, it just, it's unlike anything else. It's, it's such important work. I'm so passionate about it, and I'm so happy to be a part of CASA. So how often do you volunteer? How many days uh, a week, a month? How, how does it work? 
Well, the CASA model works so that uh, you're, you go through a training and then you're paired with one child and then you stay with that child as their advocate throughout their time in the foster care system. So my first case I just finished and that went about a, about a calendar year. So I would call, I would send uh, emails, I would, you know, I would connect with teachers and therapists and grandma and all sorts of people and I would visit twice a week. So it was, you know, it's a, it was a significant job, but the kid that I was serving really deserves somebody that cares. Don't you get like attached? You know, Casa sets really great boundaries, which is fantastic. But yeah, I mean, I get attached in a way that like each kid in this system deserves somebody to care. Yes. And when you get involved and you do this work, you care. So you're going to be on a mission for the next child right now to volunteer. Yeah, I'm going to take out another kid. You know, it's it's such it's such important work that once you get once you get involved in it, it just it snowballs. It has a snowball effect. You start looking at what other impact you can have in the world. Um, at the beginning of the pandemic, I started my master's in social work program, so I'll be a social worker in six months. It's this work has changed my life, um, but I I'm so grateful for it. So busy with doing acting and hosting events and volunteering, you know, but feels good, right? It feels good. Hey, I mean, I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> right? So what's going on with acting? Uh, what's your latest project? Well, you know, I took a break at the beginning of the pandemic to um, to finish my career and my um, my schooling in social work. Well, that's good because pandemic was like the perfect taking a break exactly. moment. And I have to say, you know, I was acting for such a long time and I was feeling like I was doing the same thing over and over again and I wanted to have a life experience where I did something for other people and so I'm really excited about this and I'm, I'm excited to go back into entertainment and be a part of making TV shows and films that like matter and touch society. So Casa LA is practically inspiration for a future project. Yeah, I mean, I started directing a few years ago. I directed the film that we're going to see tonight. So, you know, it's... That's it's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Well, I can't wait to see it myself. Thank you. And, of course, we're excited to raise the goal, $1 yeah. million. Dollars. So thank you so much for your time, Ashley. Thank and you. Uh, good luck on uh, future projects. Thank you. I, it's nice to see you, and I'm, I'm happy you're here. Thank you thank, for Thank you for having us. Thank you. You're watching Red Carpet of Hollywood, and I'm here with... Hi, I'm Ty G Charity with Kids in the Spotlight. Well, thank you so much for your time. Of course. And tell me, what are you, what, what are you here today? Oh my God, well, first of all, I'm excited to be here. Anything supporting kids in foster youth and providing hope and an outlet for them, I'm there. So that's why I'm here to support the work that CASA LA is doing. And plus, I'm a huge fan of Charity, the executive director of CASA. So that's what brought me here today. You guys do so much amazing things. It's, it's breathtaking. And today, uh, the goal is million dollars. So we're hoping for it, right? Oh, yes, absolutely. Above a million. That would be nice. Above the million. You yes. got it? Yes, yes, yes. Let's hit that million and let's go beyond it. So, so tell me, how hard is the work behind the scenes on those projects? Oh, my gosh. It, you know, it's a lot of work. Um, one of the slogans I say all the time is it takes a village to do this work. So seeing the number of people that are out here today supporting this great work, it's what's needed. It shows our foster youth that they matter, that people show up on their behalf to make a difference in their lives. So all, I am planning to participate okay. in the auction and to see what I'm going to bid on and hopefully win. So I am here as a guest to support it. So, so when you when you uh, uh, bid on auction, what are your like items that you go for? Something made by kids or something more? Well, I love supporting things that are made by kids. Yes, but I'm also like the spa girl. Like anything that's dealing with relaxation, I'm all for it. Welcome to Casa Ale, and I'm here with Haley. Haley Polis. Thank you so much for your time, Haley. So tell me the reason why you're supporting CASA. Um, I mean, I, I've been coming to the CASA events for so many years now, and it's just such an important um, organization because it, it does so much good for children in foster care. You know, I mean, working on the permanency of, of the homes and other services besides just finding homes, like, those are such important matters right. and and it's so important to support foster kids the way that CASA does. So since how many years you supporting yourself? Um, oh my gosh I think it's been like at least five I believe I could be wrong about that. That's amazing yeah. so 
what are you what are your expectation for tonight's event um i just think it's going to be a lot of a lot of warmth and love and happiness in the room and i'm really excited to hear all of everyone's stories wonderful now let's talk about your uh, acting what are your latest projects as of today um i actually just had an audio book come out that oh, i really? narrated yeah oh, so that's you. that's really exciting it's called the tumbleweed dossier you can get it on audible um, I'm also on General Hospital, and no yes, of um, <laughs> that you know I've been there for ever and ever, and it's my home. Um, and yeah, other than that, I'm just uh, I always have some fun things in the works. Well, that that sounds like fun, and of course we can find you on social media, right? Yes, at Haley Polis everywhere. Which one is your favorite? Um, I'm really into Instagram, honestly. Yes. If you could give one suggestion to a, just a stranger why they should support Casa LA, what would you tell them? Um, because it's, it's just the right thing to do, honestly. Not only that, but it's important for your soul. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> Done. We got this. Uh, Ms. Holly Mitchell, uh, you're on the chair of LA uh, County Board of Supervisors. And today you're at Casa LA. I am, and I'm uh, thrilled to be receiving a, an award tonight for the work I do on behalf of children and families who are touched by our Department of Child and Family Services. So I'm proud to be here and always supportive of the work of CASA volunteers. Since when are you involved with charity? Uh, CASA here, CASA Sacramento, CASA up north, probably about the past 25 years in that I've worked really my entire professional career uh, in support of children touched by governmental systems. And what are your expectations for tonight's event? Oh, I hope that it raises awareness about the needs of kids in care. Uh, I hope they raise a lot of money because that's very important. So uh, I'm here to support charity uh, uh, in, in leading this amazing organization. So fundamentally, I hope they raise a bunch of money. Right? <laughs> thank you so much for your time and thank you for being here. Thank you very much for the honor and for the opportunity. Thank, thank you. you. I had to stop you because you look so gorgeous. Thank you. So, are those dresses for auction today? They're not, unfortunately. Unfortunately not. Yes. No. Okay. Who dressed you up? You guys look gorgeous. Really? We went to Mason Privé. It's a showroom in, in um, West Hollywood. And so Alexandria from there, she dressed us. So Wonderful. So we got to give a big shout out to Alexandria. Did you pick your pink, purple? Yes. Yeah. Fully dressed by Mason Privé. You guys look amazing. Thank you. Total total fashion show today on top of everything else. Met Gala, so obviously. Okay, okay, no more questions. <laughs>